Aries, welcome to your November reading. I'm Robin Carline from Robin's Authentic Tarot and thank you for visiting my channel. All right, so let's see what you receive for your situational energy. This is the Knight of Pentacles. This is really beautiful foundational energy Aries. This one is representing that you have that Knight, that warrior energy in the foundation and that this knight here is not looking distressed. This knight is not looking that he has to defeat any obstacles. This knight is looking that it's grounded and it's very sound. So that's beautiful. All right. So next up is your Challenge position. Hmm. All right. So this one here is the magician and it is the infinite ability to manifest anything that you want. You have everything that you need. Now, coming up as a challenge, I kind of feel that things have... Hmm... Okay, I'm just going to show you this one here. So this is the Eight of Swords, but it's almost like uh, I wanted to say good to be true. So with this situational energy of this soundness of the foundation of, of whatever you have been working on and making it as stable as possible, this is representing that... I, I I really feel that it, it's that good too good to be true and then with this one here your third placement which is the belief placement this one is showing that it, there's an illusion that's happening so the swords the swords it represents your thoughts your mindset the way that you perceive things and so notice that all of these swords are all pointed down they're all stuck in the earth they're not moving anywhere. They're, they're, they're not going anywhere. So yes, in this picture, it depicts the person as being stuck. But this person, like with, with the, with the eight and the, the eights of the, um, of the deck, it's about, um, it's about knowledge. It's about, like you having more than you think you do, you have like more of that ability. So for you to realize that all you have to do is take off that blindfold, take off those binds there that you think that are holding you back, but they're not. There's a mindset shift that needs to happen. And for this month in November, you have the Scorpio energy. You have the Scorpio and your sister sign, the Sagittarius energy at the latter part of November. So for the Scorpio, it's all about ending those cycles. So this is about ending those illusions for yourself. This is about ending the perceptions that you have, the perceptions that are holding you back. So please don't allow that because you do have a sound foundation. You have a solid foundation. There is stability there. This knight is looking at that pentacle, adoring, adorning that pentacle and visualizing, visualizing all of the possibilities, all of the opportunities, and that you know because there is that belief energy where you are feeling stuck but you do have the ability to manifest anything that you want you have the infinite ability to mana manifest anything that you want and Aries notice this yellow back here this yellow is that solar plexus energy the solar plexus has been coming up a lot it's also in the background here so that solar plexus it's your confidence it's your willpower it's your action it's your desire it's you moving forward it's you igniting your inner flame within so let's see the root of the reading here Mm, here you go. This one is representing 
change. This is the five of pentacles. And this represents that thing. You're not going to feel that you're left out in the cold anymore. Okay. So you could have been feeling that, that things weren't working out, whether that is, and I mean, in a foundational way. So in that foundational way, that is like family, that is yourself, that is people in your life and, and, and work and the ability to, uh, keep the, uh, you know, finances coming in this one, it is showing that things are changing. That's what the five represents. It represents that there is a shift moving forward. There is a transition, things are moving. And so that is the Scorpio energy. Allow yourself to really harness this energy this month for yourself it, it ending the cycle so you can make room or ending situations that you can make room for all of the new 2023 energy that wants to come forward and start preparing so you're preparing your energy your foundation i love that okay these in order now for your present energy let's see okay and here we go we have another five this one is representing the chaos and conflict this is the five of fire the five of wands so this one is saying that you are no longer participating you're no longer participating you are harnessing this energy and you're saying enough is enough this is you right here you are lifting your wand out of this whatever that is and you are moving back and you are moving away and you're like i'm done i'm done it's no longer happening for me i'm not doing this anymore i'm removing myself from the situation that is what your energy is that's amazing i love that so two fives in a row um yeah that's really cool aries that's awesome i love your energy Ooh, and see you have the four of wands otherwise known as 11 11 so being mindful of your thoughts your very very positive successful happiness joyous so personally or professionally this is beautiful. This is really great. This is talking about that everything is going very, very well. And you most definitely can manifest anything that you want. This is like victorious. This is amazing. I love this for your future. I love your energy, Aries. And this is it's it's your element. Now, ooh, look at that. So you received two, you received balance, this beautiful, gorgeous balance, this pentacle energy, remember the, your foundational energy, and then you have the king. Such a strong, strong energy. This is your internal placement. If I didn't say that before, sorry. This one is that king and that king has that strength to make those decisions, to make those very, very sound, quick decisions but knowing knowing deeply knowing and having that confidence to move in the direction that you want to move in like full force full force like like a steam train like just chugging 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 keep speeding keep keep bringing that momentum that's what i'm feeling for you that's awesome see you can manifest and you have everything that you need to you just have to Remove yourself from the situations that are holding you back. This is lovely. So this is the external energy. Again, you have that pentacle energy. And this is really beautiful. Right here, it's showing that your scales are balanced. This is also showing giving and receiving. So giving and receiving in a balanced fashion. So you must receive as much as you give you must receive and you must feel good about that receiving and know that you have you you're worth it you deserve to receive just as much as you give and that's where that balance comes in and that is the energy that is surrounding you that foundational energy that is restructuring into the energy that is meant for you moving forward aries i love that 
Okay, and for your hopes, dreams, and fears. Hmm, this is perfect. This is new mindset. This is new communication. So this is the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords is always representing that there is something new that is coming in. So you are being handed this by the universe, okay? You're being handed this sword, sword excuse me, and this sword represents that mindset, the communication, messages from spirit that are coming in. So this and the ability to receive the messages. So it's the crown, it's the third eye, and it's the throat chakra. They're all connected here. And that is that sword energy. So allowing your expression, your new expression to come through and really like honoring yourself, honoring yourself with every word, with every expression that comes out of you please keeping your throat chakra clear because this you you don't want to have any of this blocked you want to have this free flowing this positive loving saying those affirmations to yourself and and really keeping yourself in that really high high vibe this is this beautiful gorgeous energy that is coming for you here you have that eight this is you. You just have to take this off. And that could be because this is the hopes, dreams, and fears. So, of course, the fear being that you... The fear being that you won't take that action, but you will take that action, Aries, because you're Aries and you're fire and you are full of action. So, for your outcome card, excuse me. Let's see... What you, oh, lovely, your energy again. Look at this. This is all of the possibilities, all of the opportunities that you have. This here is the three of wands. It's that fire. It's your element. This one here, it's, it's, there's, there's, there's nothing there. You have a clean, clear blank slate that you can create anything that you want. This is beautiful. This is really, really beautiful. And it's the whole essence of this month is clearing all the things out that you know that you are so done with and that you are making room for all of the new and all of this creativity that's coming with it. And you're preparing yourself for 2023. That's amazing. And so at the end of the uh, November, where we're in, where you're in the Sagittarius energy, that gives you that extra oomph. And you're really, really in your element of your sister sign of Sagittarius. And so that's really going to help. And that brings you into the beginning of December. Like, that's amazing. I love that. That's really cool. Um, Aries, this is, was an amazing reading. I am rooting for you. I thank you so much for showing up for yourself. I thank you for showing up and listening to me. And I thank you so much for all of your support for my channel. I love you all. Mwah.